So, there's a little rabbit I uh, rescued from Jung here. And this Jung lady, Jung monster. Usually I don't. I mean, this is her. Her. Part of her diet. Unless I'm around and. I can save him. But I'm like. I've barely saved it because it's paralyzed. Because Jung had it in her mouth for like a good 20 seconds while I was chasing her. Which again, I don't usually do. Because I don't have to. Because she kind of does her thing pretty quick. It's just that he doesn't, he's, he's, he doesn't know how to do it. He's not the huntress she is. And he's the first one that caught it, which is why I heard this screaming. So I went out. And, but as I was struggling to get it from him, Jung took over. It's her job. It's like when he fails, she finishes the job. And she uh, interfered with my rescue mission. And like, just about finished the job. Uh, you know, she ha as usual, she has him by the back of the neck. N normally, if I get him in time, they just run off. So this little guy couldn't run off. It, its legs were, were kicking, but the front legs were kind of retarded. Right. And fast forward about a half an hour, because I, I had to run away from the cats to find a place to put this little rabbit put it somewhere, cross my fingers that after I would check in a, say half an hour that it would be gone, if it came back it was still there. And as this all was going on around here, I kind of guess it's its mother or something, it kept coming out, running out courageously at the rabbits, like what, it's, it's actually started to scream when I, when I was picking it up. When I was carrying it away from my cats, it was like screaming. And when that was happening, there was another rabbit around. There was another rabbit around. So, could you just finish the job real quick? That would really make everyone's lives a lot easier here. But anyway, I think it was its mother, father, or some friend kept coming out. So then. You know, I just forgot. Okay, so it's it's family. It's got friends and family who 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 will take care of it. If it doesn't uh, take care of itself, so I went back to the spot that I dropped it. I actually dropped this guy off like at the corner down the end. I had to run from these guys. If I run, they'll follow me. If I ride my bike, they won't. I was able to run away. Hey, how you doing? So then I, I went back maybe 20 minutes later with my bike so they couldn't chase me to see if it had moved and it hadn't moved. It was just sitting in the same spot on someone's lawn I'd put it. So I picked it up and this time I put it next to a tree in my yard because it was closer to where its uh, friend Mama, Daddy, whatever, you got a little poo in your butt, and that's fine. You can still poo. So I put it next to a tree, hoping, okay, by morning, somebody will, will have either eaten it, or it will have healed up. I don't know, but I don't know where I'm getting this idea of spontaneous healing after a big cat. I don't know where she bit it. I mean, it must have been somewhere around the neck where they, she knows, she knows exactly what she's doing. I don't know. I'm probably looking at a totally paraplegic rabbit. I don't know, man. We'll see what we can do. And I asked on the internet, like, where do you put a wounded animal? And everyone's talking about the veterinarians. I'm like, I'm not going to pay. I ain't paying, buddy. Do you have any blood on you? No. You got no blood. There's no blood. You're just, it's just trauma. This is wounded rabbit. This wounded rabbit has what we call 
human psychology, wounded rabbit syndrome. It's really not this week, it's just pretending to be this week because it's afraid to try to run from the big cats. I don't blame you. You try to run from my cats, you run right through their digestive system. Her. Just her. Just John. Sam don't know what he's doing. He just scares it. You know, if I had left him alone, if I had left him alone, he would have just tortured it. Not hurt it. Just scared it. You know, tormented it. And then, um... Hey, look. Look, wounded rabbit. You're still breathing. You're still alive. You don't want to die. We're gonna... We're gonna fight this, just like the, what's her name, and Kill Bill, Uma, Uma, what's her name, Irma, Uma Thurman, she was, uh, the same exact way, and she found a way to get movement in her little feet, in her little feet, anyway, so we'll hang out until you figure it out, so yeah, so I put it next to a tree eight hours ago, I went to sleep. Put a little post on the internet and ask the neighbors where to bring your hurt rabbit. Are we going to make it? Am I going to have to give you little loves every day? Jung. I, I, I have no... I'm not mad at Jung at all. Jung was just doing what she was doing. Jung, don't, don't even... Jung, don't you, Jung, 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 you're gonna, you're gonna end up, it's caretaker, if you don't mind. There's no like uh, flashbacks here. I hope we can change this from food to pet. What do you say? What do you say, John? What do you say? No. 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 Don't even. I was like, let me get that. Let me get that little hamburger. Okay, we'll stop. Alright. Well, let's be taking care of you. Give you some water. What do they eat? Carrots? This little guy can I, if I can eat carrots, I don't think so. See, he knows what to eat. I can just put it outside. Uh, only could move. I could, if I put it in the grass, though, it wouldn't know what to bite. Jump stop. Jump stop. All right, I gotta get to, back to my life, man. I'm gonna put you in a little box and hang out with me all day. A little box with some. Uh, a little blanket, a washcloth, a little box with a washcloth and some water. What do you say? What do you say to that little guy? A wounded rabbit.